Hi everybody, how are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. I'm going to struggle a little bit of what to talk about today, but I want to cover a dream that I had two nights ago. And it was, I was in a, a foreign area and no doubt, I'm, I'm sure it was another planet. And the reason why I say that is because I chewed out my guides the other day, as you know. And I cussed them everything. And I told them, you know, I've asked them to help me release blockages and all kinds of other things. At night, I had a dream. I think it was that night or the next day. I cannot remember. But I'm in a foreign area. And I didn't recognize any of the beings. It was like... I could see their bodies, but not their faces. And that's common in the things that I see. I remember there was a male in front of me and my hands were like this and he's holding my wrists and he's telling me to relax that things are gonna be okay. And I was really nervous. And I mean really nervous because I didn't know what was go going to happen. And I kind of look up in the sky just a little bit. I mean, maybe not even 10 foot above my head. And I noticed these green things kind of flying in, in the air. And they look like giant green flat tadpoles. They had arms with hooks, maybe like claws on them. They had the tail, uh, really flat, thick, not flat like a um, record, as a record player. They're about this thick. And then as they go down toward the tail, it gets more narrow. Oh, what is, what is that? <laughs> and then another one comes straight to me and it looked like it was going to hit me in the head. And I remembered I kind of like ducked a little thinking, oh, what's it going to do? Oh my gosh, you know. That guy in front of me gets my attention and he's like, it's okay. And I'm really just getting nervous now. I am like really starting to freak out. And then it lands on top of my head. And then I'm like, oh. Oh my God, oh my God, what's going on? And I could feel this little claw-like things hook around in my temple area, I think. And the man in front of me, was he just kept repeating, you know, you're safe, you're gonna be okay. And he was really serious, but calming, reassuring. And then all of a sudden, I felt this on my head. And then I'm looking at the man, of course, he, you know, I can't see, but a foggy version of a, being then he, he kind of started going in and out like I was kind of like losing consciousness and I'm sitting there and it's all of a sudden so relaxing like somebody's shampooing your hair when you're getting a haircut very much like that and my eyes are kind of rolling back in my head because it felt good and I remembered that kind of scared me a little bit so I kind of shifted and the guy said one more time you're okay and then it really started doing that. And it was like massaging deep, deep in my head. I mean, it was like I could feel it in my brain. And that's all I remember. That's it. I think I know who that man was. And I think he was my, my soulmate. And the reason why I say that is years ago. I cannot remember how many years ago. And I can't remember if I was married to my kid's dad or in another relationship or what. I don't know. But I feel that it had to have been before 2012 because I had a hysterectomy then. And the reason why I bring that up is because I was on a ship. And there was a being behind me. Didn't even see him. I don't know who was in front of me, but they were down like a gynecologist. And I'm screaming and I'm freaking out. And I couldn't see this being's face or anything, of course. And I'm just, I'm hysterical. I'm so hysterical. And this voice behind me, a man's voice, said my name. Of course, then it was my legal, legal birth name at that time, which was Christy or Christina. But he, I think he said Christy. And he said it in a very familiar voice. That when he said that, I just remember dropping in um, comfort and security. I was just like, I melted. And that's all I remember. And the next day, I remember thinking of that. And I'm like, there's something about that voice. 
I felt like I was in love with that voice and whatever was attached to that voice. I was in deep, deep love. And I just kept thinking all day, this, this, this guy, his voice, there's something about his voice. There's a connection somewhere and couldn't piece it together. And I never heard that voice again. Now, I am almost 100% sure that that was my soulmate. And the reason why I say that is because I was on a ship. They were either take, I think they were taking a baby from me. But I do feel it was mine and my soulmate's baby. Um, they took it to raise it as their own, as a lot of these extraterrestrials do. And, and I'm okay with that because that baby, which is now an adult probably, is in a such better place than here. So much better. So well loved without a doubt. I think I've lost, well, I shouldn't say lost. I know they've taken two for sure, but I think I have four that I know of, hybrid children. Not 100% sure. I know two for sure, without a doubt. Back to the dream is I feel that whatever that little, I don't want to say creature because it sounds like I'm de degrading this entity. This little entity is all I can think of. I think it was unblocking my crown chakra or it was altering something in my, my thought process, my pituitary gland, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it was altering something or fixing something, which I guess could be altering. So that dream is stuck with me. It seemed very vivid. I felt, heard, seen. All my senses were covered practically. And I want to say too, when I shifted, I was going to say something else and I got sidetracked with my thoughts. When I shifted, I could feel its claws and hooks kind of latch on a little better like it was hanging on it didn't like go into my skin or anything but you know how a dog will paw at you or a cat and just gently and you can feel their claws really gently it was like that and for me to feel that was odd i don't think i've ever felt anything in a dream and then <laughs> i have to say that it's so funny i have to say this this is the first time this happened to me I get up this morning and I go to the bathroom and, and mind you, it's five, well, probably we're working from home today. So it was probably about six o'clock. It was dark, of course. And I go in the ba uh, bathroom. I think the only light on was the bathroom light. Now keep in mind that my bathroom has two doors. One goes in my bedroom. The other one goes in my kitchen. You can walk in a square through my kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, and a square. So I'm sitting on the toilet in which one doorway is in front of me and the other one's to my right. I'm sitting there and all of a sudden, an orb caught my view. It, it went right across in front of me. And so I looked up and I was in deep thought. I looked up and I kid you not, there were probably hundreds buzzing around in my bedroom, in the bathroom, and by the kitchen. They were everywhere in all sizes and how would you say that some darker some lighter or more transparent i just saw one go went by i go by i didn't see it oh well the orb thing is getting heavier more uh consistent on a daily basis and it has got actually where if i think of them if I say something like, well, hey guys, where are you at? I can say, I'm feeling a little down. Can you show me a little bit of love and show yourselves, you know? And they do, they come up. But again, I will say that I do know not every single one of these entities, orbs are good. I know there's neutral and probably a bad one here and there. And I always protect myself. And I ask for protection too. So don't freak out thinking, well, I'm welcoming all these entities in and they're going to possess me or whatever. No, that, that's, that won't happen. I, I was thinking today and I was talking to, to Giuseppe and I almost started crying because I don't think me and Giuseppe were talking about it or we were. I can't remember. I talked to two people today. But to one of them... <laughs> 
we were talking about the orbs and I just teared up. I'm like, I, I'm not the same person I was three years ago. And if I spoke to my future self three years ago, I would not have believed, I would not have believed that I would be seeing orbs and much less extraterrestrials. And to look at how far I've advanced in just three years, this March will be three years. And just to see how I've changed in three years and the things that I see and hear and feel, I would have thought I'd been psycho. But I'm lucky and I'm blessed. I'm grateful. But there's another thing I want to say too. I said it in my head today and I hope they're listening now, my guides and star family and I will probably say this again at some point, either today, tomorrow, next day, next week, whatever. That I, I will demand that they stop blocking my memory because I feel, I feel like this. I know who I am. I know where I came from. I'm not scared. I have no fear. And I know what's going on. So stop blocking my memory. That's how I feel. Stop blocking my memory. I deserve to know and see things that is going on with me. It's going on with my, my human body. It's going on with my, my soul. All of this is going on and I have the right to know. I have free will. So my will is I, I, I need to know. And if that's in my contract that I didn't want to know, I, I omit that in my contract. There goes an orb. That was a cute one. It's probably going by, no, don't admit that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I need to figure out how to word this and write it down and say it like a spell. Kind of make it like legal and binding if you want to say that. Okay, so that's my video for today. <laughs> and I will do one tomorrow, I promise. And I hope you're doing well. I love you guys so much. Please, while I'm thinking about it. Let me know in the comments what you thought about my last video. It could have been tweaked here and there, me talking in it. There was a slight echo for one. Two, when I did it, I didn't know if I was going to upload it or not, but when I heard it and looked at the little video clippings I had in it, I'm like, oh, it looks pretty nice and I don't sound that bad. And I struggled for things to say in it because I kind of was shocked that it was going smoothly, I guess. So I kind of uploaded it and everything. Let me know what you thought of it. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, what you thought I can improve or not improve or whatever. I appreciate your thoughts and your advice. So with that being said, I love you guys tremendously. And I'm going to send each and every one of you love, light, and peace. Bye. Mm -hmm.